Welcome back to Dark Corners Streaming. Available free on YouTube in the US, we're looking at 1996's Mars Attacks. It's easy to forget that from the late 80s to the late 90s, Tim Burton could do no wrong, directing a remarkable run of quality films. That said, for some, Mars Attacks shouldn't count. It definitely has its detractors, and although I personally love the film, I can see where people are coming from. Owing as much to the disaster movie tradition as it does to 50s B-movies or the Topps trading cards that inspired it, the film has a huge cast. Big names of the day, big names of the future. A classic Hollywood star. Come on, kid, I'm not that old. An exploitation star. An NFL star. Burn Heavyweight champion of the world. James Bond. This doesn't make sense. It's not logical. It's not Marty McFly. And of course. It's not unusual you want to be loved by anyone. That sort of bloated all-star cast usually leads to a mess of a movie and an audience unsure who to follow or what the plot is. And that's combined with the fact that the Martians are apparently unmotivated. From the first, they seem to have crossed the galaxy to play silly pranks as much as to conquer our planet. How can you invest in a threat that is so unfocused? We come in peace. We came in peace. Well, firstly, it's very concisely written. As you sit through the latest bum-numbing three-hour comic book movie, marvel at the fact that Jonathan Jem's script successfully balances plot lines of around 20 characters in just a hundred minutes, alongside the action. Secondly, depending on your sense of humour, it's very funny, playing like a sci-fi B-movie version of Doctor Strangelove. We have to strike now, sir! Annihilate! Kill! 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 Shut up! Perhaps the only comedy film with a higher death toll. And it's worth noting that, like Peter Sellers in the Kubrick film, Jack Nicholson takes on more than one role. Finally, for all the silly humour, I think this is how Alien Invasion would go. Although it has speeches to equal Independence Day, I want the people to know that they still have two out of three branches of the government working for them, and that ain't bad. Released the same year, very bad year for national landmarks. Mars Attacks does also showcase the venality, greed, opportunism, he just cracked the field, hopeless optimism, I surrender. monumental stupidity, and above all, arrogance of the human race. Alongside the good stuff, because that massive cast has room for heroes too. What are you guys gawking at? Get that president out of here! In all seriousness, most of these characters have personal goals unrelated to the Martians, but affected by their arrival. I gotta get to Washington. Our lives don't go away because humanity is facing something. A fact we can all identify with better now than we could 12 months ago. Hello! The Martians have attacked! But for all that it is about the humans, the Martians are what make it or don't make it, because I do think for some people, not knowing what they want is a block they can't get past. Personally, I love the weirdness. I love the brief glimpses we get inside their ships, and I love that those ships are a tribute to Ray Harryhausen's Earth vs. the Flying Saucers. The aliens themselves were originally supposed to be stop-motion animated, and when CGI proved more practical, Burton made sure effects company Industrial Light and Magic kept them looking a bit unreal, a nod to the B-movies that inspired them, and something that has stopped the film from aging. This is a film I love, just because it makes me laugh every time I watch it, and that's reason enough.
thanks for watching. What camp do you fall into with Mars attacks? Love or hate? Let us know in the comments below.